Ladies and gentlemen, on the line, I have Bosley. What up, man? What's up, man? I'm in there hanging in there, man. How you feeling, bro? Doing good, doing good. Remind everybody where they can find you on YouTube. Hey, yo, everybody, shout it out. Um, you can find me on YouTube under Call Me Bosley. C-A-L-L-M-E underscore Bosley. B-O-S-S-L-Y. Smart, man. <laughs> Spelling it out. That's what I'm talking about, man. You know the marketing game, dog. Come on, baby. <laughs> <laughs> well, shit, I, need, I know a little bit about you, man, but I want to introduce you to my audience over here. Uh, where did you grow up? Um, I'm from New York City. I grew up in Queens, naturally, but, you know, moving around. I've been through every borough, basically. Okay, okay. Uh, but I'm, really, I'm, I'm really a Queens dude, though. I was school in my younger years in Queens, like Hollis, Shadyville area. Shout out to my Queens niggas. You know what I'm Kill you or screw you. You know what I'm saying? And then um, when I came off from my incarceration, I ended up moving to Brooklyn. Okay. Yeah, I want to get to your, your incarceration later for sure. Uh, but let's take it all the way back. When do you remember Bloods and Crips, you know, making an appearance in New, in New York? Hey, yo, as sad as it sounds, like, remember, I'm a little younger than a lot of the dudes that originated the Bloods on the East Coast. So, like, in the early 90s, when Blood was most prominent in New York City, I was I was I was barely out of the streets yet. I wasn't even you know what I'm saying close to the street, but I was holding the auntie hand. So it wasn't so all I was really like recollecting was just people wearing certain colors or you hear about people getting cut for wearing certain colors on the news. It just had everybody in a real frantic situation. Like I used to see a lot of the older dudes in my neighborhood wearing a lot of red bandanas. But around that time the media was making them look real savagely, so like they had a bad like reputation. Yeah, we were hearing about them out here on the west coast and they the, the blood started in the prison system right out there is that safe to say yes sir okay okay now how old were you when you quote unquote jumped off the porch i'm saying depending on what you call off the porch or in the street <laughs> across the street I <laughs> when did you uh when did you i guess start you know you know start looking into the gang life and, and getting involved in it um all right i was active like just basically in the streets playing with guns and shit before I was ever in a game. I didn't turn I didn't turn blood into I was actually in jail. In the street, I was anti-gang. I believe like I was my my huh. father is a Muslim. So my father raised me to believe that if you had to join a gang, you did it out of fear. You did it out of feeling like you couldn't do it by yourself. So I was really that's growing up being taught that, that's all I knew. So I believed it. But then, you know what I'm saying? Later in life, certain experiences turn the blood okay and why would you say if, if you had to pinpoint one reason why would you say the ultimate reason is that you decided to turn blood at the time like don't get me wrong blood has a stronghold on new york city prison system hands down nothing runs new york city prisons like the bloods do not one gang even could attest that um and because of that it's like damn it's a lot of you niggas like it's a dominant force that's not, it's not like, you, you, it's not like I did it to join the team. It was more so like, I'm doing, I'm banging with these niggas already. I'm in here making beef with, you know what I'm saying? Opposing gangs because I'm, it's more blood than anything else. And I'm forging bonds and relationships with the dudes that I'm around. I'm end up putting work with these dudes anyway. So like, like I said, it was like my personal report for the individuals I was around made me actually just, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead and jump in the whip. Whoa. Gotcha. And you were, you were on Rik Rikers Island at this time? Yeah, I was, okay. I was, I was, yeah, I was 18 on Rikers Island. Yeah, and now, you, so you got uh, locked up, you did an eight-year stretch, right? Is that what I remember you saying? Yeah, yeah, I got sentenced to 10 years, and I see all on that. I did eight years, six months, and 26 days. God damn. What was the final conviction before you convicted of? Um, I was convicted of attempted murder in the second degree. Damn. I played, I played guilty to it. I copped out. I, like I said, um. I spoke about it on my channel. It was one of those situations where it was a bunch of young kids with a gun, greed, with, with, with retaliation in their heart, man, and we, went and we just did some real heinous shit, man. And, um, you know, when you look back at it as an adult, of course, you hindsight is always twenty twenty. You take certain shit back. Yeah. But in the moment, at the time, the life I was living, that's what that's what happened. So when we, when shit went left, I stuck to the code like I was supposed to. I ain't say no names. I ain't writing no statements. So I ain't have no co-defendants. Uh, so for somebody like you who 
took the time. You 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 fessed up to what you did. You didn't say any names or anything. What are your general thoughts on somebody like a Takashi Six Nine? Me, a nigga like him, is like an epitome of a waste man, like a person, a rat, like that he defines a rat, someone who has no no standards and they're only worried about themselves. You feel me? Anybody that's too focused on themselves can never be a team player, can never be next to me. Why the ostrich hides his head in the ground That's the reason why the monster even puts on a mask And we turn the city green to blend in with the grass The city scene made a crash, I fell in love with it twice Had to tell her goodbye cause she fell in love with the night I couldn't keep up, I tried to bring it down from the sky But the clouds were so nice that she took a nap for a while And when she woke up I finally had a kid and a lady Bone told me he saw it the other day with the baby Ain't life crazy, I think about it once in a while When it's cloudy outside and the sun goes None of these drugs do what they supposed to Yeah And what's the point of hurting people that you're close to Yeah Most of my life I've been following stars Knowing I ain't really had to go that far Come to find out it's the truth I already know Yeah Spinning out a cylinder, moving, I'm in reverse Committing crimes of passion, judging jury at first But I love that girl, been my woman since day one Had a couple of kids in the house, the job done So what happened while we ain't loving no more? Maybe I should take some blame instead of taking the score But me and more don't go, I'm begging you gotta change We can work it out even through pleasure and pain You gotta chill with the liquor girl, you get too friendly Who you talking to baby, that's my man Henry That's what I'm talking about baby, just sit your ass Damn. You wanted to have some fun, me take you out on the town So you can shake a tail feather, maybe we cut a rug Drinking and driving on the low key, rum in a jug Give me a hug, wrong nigga baby You drive your nigga crazy in the morning Won't remember shit, I know it's kinda hazy None of these drugs do what they supposed to Yeah And what's the point of hurting people that you're close to Yeah most of my life I've been following stars Knowing I ain't really had to go that far Come to find out it's the truth I already know Yeah Ready, ready, set, go. go. Put your seatbelt on, up in the way we bout to go. We bout to the road go. is gon' get windy, promise not to lose control. control. The final destination's bound to captivate your soul. And so, so, many MCs inspired to be one of the baddest motherfuckers to touch the MIC. Then the law came life, now the dreams deferred. All the years of writing rhymes captured in a blur. My ponders contemplating the worst. Put all the energy into the music, now you're looking for thirst to be quenched. That's a bitch. Paying dues upon dues. Keep on telling yourself I'ma make it Others believe in you too And it's true You can make it if you try There's levels to everything Better believe it Cause you can deny it And never achieve it It won't come easy Just put in the work And know your worth Continue to rise Cause all we do is capitalize None of these drugs Do what they supposed to Yeah And what's the point Of hurting people That you're close to Yeah most of my life I've been following stars Knowing I ain't really had to go that far Come to find out it's the truth I already know Yeah On the flip side somebody who was supposed to get out this month but his sentence got extended for another year which kind of sucks but i'm obviously talking about bobby schmurter you know he took two extra years so he can get seven his boy can get seven they can both get out at the same time what, what are your general thoughts on on him and how big is he going to be when he gets home yeah but now him not getting out right now has nothing to do with him taking an extra two years see in new york city you basically guaranteed your parole or your cr date as long as you got your programs completed and you staying out of trouble so which means Bobby Smurda is up there, he not staying out the shit. He keep catching tickets, obviously, 
know what I'm saying? Something he's doing something and he's getting in trouble. He's, mm-hmm. So that's why they, he didn't make his parole board. He mm-hmm. had caught a, he had to have caught a two or three in the last year or two. That's what, usually why they deny you. What did what did they call it? What did you call it? He had to he had to do a what? <laughs> Tier three, they oh. have different grading levels of your tickets. Like they have grade A, grade B. Tier three is the highest level ticket you can catch. Like you stab somebody, that's a tier three. You fight somebody with no weapons, that's a tier two. Gotcha. You have an argument and they write it up, that's a tier one. You feel me? This only conduct type shit. Like due to the levels of violence. Okay. That's how I go. Okay. How big is he gonna be when he gets home? Oh, no, but that depends on what he was doing. I seen dudes go to jail and, and lose weight, man. You feel me? It depends what his, his his regimen is. Like a lot of people in New York jails ain't even about where anybody the states, they do a lot of stabbing. New York City is prominently known for razor tag. That's yeah. what we do. Like razor tag. I never heard that one. Like, like niggas is niggas is cutting niggas is doing corny shit though. Like niggas is moving up on you while you online. Cutting you from behind, catch you while you walking yourself, cutting you, pushing you yourself. So you got to be real vigilant, head up, eyes open, like all the time. Damn. Yeah, well, I, I talked about this last week um, with one of my boys from Brooklyn, and something that New York dudes do that is so crazy to me, but you motherfuckers put the razor under your tongue. Oh yeah, all day, twenty four seven. Flip it. It's, a, it's a, yeah. And there's a, there's a whole. You want to kind of explain what the the science is to that without cutting your tongue off? No, I, it's hot. You're not putting a beer razor in your mouth like that. Like, niggas is making a holster out of homemade utensils, whatever they use, whether it's cardboard, melted plastic, saran wrap. Mm. However you holster your shit, however you holster your shit, you holster your shit. So basically, you, you, you know what I mean? You make it a nice little holster, you make it a nice little cap, and then, like, under your tongue, on the side, you put something under there, and you keep pressing down. After a while, you're going to feel it like it's stretching. And it becomes a pocket. The more you do it, the bigger the pocket gets, the deeper it gets. And bro, I used to keep no bullshit. Two two scalpels in a, in a quarter of bud in my mouth, and I could talk you with no. God, yeah. <laughs> this motherfucker bro. said, and a quarter of bud. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, I definitely wanna fly out there to Cali, man. I never been to Cali, man. Oh, you gotta come, homie. Uh, it's beautiful out here, man. It definitely is. Yeah, yeah, I love New York too, man. I fuck with New York like heavy, dog. <laughs> See, I've been here forever. That's all I know, so it's not that impressive to me. Yeah, yeah. See, I'm the same way with Cali. That's how I am with Cali. I'm like, yeah, it's whatever, you know, to, to somebody else. But, yeah, you definitely got to gotta make your way out here, my man. Um, but uh, let's talk about uh, 2008 when you first got in. I was watching one of your videos, and you said that back then it was hard for a person to be a crip in prison, it, in jail. It was almost impossible to be a crip. But then um, you also did another stint later on in life for almost two years and you said when you went back or something like that it was like it was totally different can you kind of explain that all right cool and the way i explained it in the video only way it makes sense to me is like through the music like one thing about the hood the urban culture the rap hip-hop culture they're in sync because the rappers want to be like the niggas in the street and the niggas in the street trying to be like look like the rappers man and it's like it's a revolving door it's a circle so now as that's happening you got look back at 08. That was when um murder um murder um Uncle Murder had that. Don't worry about the gun. It's the bullet, bullet. Mm-hmm. If you still you get a clip full of you feel me like this. Yeah. The whole the whole style of music was more violent. It was more up tempo. Not even up tempo was like slow slow drill music. It was they was talking that gun gangster shit. Fifty Cent. You know what I'm saying like this is when that was going on. So mm-hmm. like. As time evolved, though, 2009, 2010, you got the Drakes, the Rick Rosses that come out. As they come out, they bring in a different sound, a different tune. They soften it up, and they showing money. There's less problems because problems usually happen when you don't have money. Dudes start beefing and doing cutthroat things for the dollar. So now where dudes that have been catching their first robberies at 13 or 14, in this generation, no, that's when they learning how to scam. They already busting their first yeah. team. You understand what I'm saying? They, and they and they seen a big amount of bread, more than we're seeing off of that one little strong arm robbery. Oh, yeah. And now if they get caught, they're not getting the same amount of time as we're gonna get. White we're gonna problem. get in more trouble. Right. So basically, 
as time evolves, everything evolves. Everything. And it, and um that's what happened with the gang culture too. Bobby Smurda comes through the hip hop folk crip. They had an alliance. New York was ignorant where we wasn't we wasn't we didn't care. We was crip folk. What? It's blue, you through. We feel like nigga. You feel me? Like we was on our bullshit. That's how we was taught. We was taught wrong. But we, we gonna do what we taught. So that's what that was what it was. But in time, you know, everything changes. Some people come through, they make stamps, they leave marks and change communities. And that's what happened, man. They came through. When I went back to my violation and seen all them crip crip niggas in jail, I'm talking about they got crip houses. There's more crips in the whole way he's in blood. Like, what the fuck is going on? Like, you're not even wet. Wet. What's wet? What do you mean, what's wet? You landed in the river, but your clothes are all dry. Illusion, that's all. Just an illusion. Like that jukebox playing in the corner. That's an illusion, too. <laughs> Who's really ready to get this shit poppin'? Stay the bond in this motherfucker, we not stopping. Lock in the game ahead of a time, but that was 20 years ago. We still killing the rhyme. It's the reunion, unification of the dope singers. I still throw it up and I'm still making the singers. I'm a grown ass man with a lot to live for. Barefoot, walking on the sand and seashore. Chilling, living my life to find a better way. Overlooking the ocean before retirement day. And I'ma get it because I'm different, not like you. Mamba mentality told me to do it. I do creativity, I'm a leader. I balance the scales, giving my gift to the world like show and tell, but don't well, I'm a package and maybe you will buy it, just give it one verse when you listen, I'm, I'm trying to make it different, I don't know why I do what I do, I just don't want to be like you, I just don't want to be like you, I'm a little bit different, cause the sky ain't always blue, and the moon ain't always new, Wake up in bed, third eye wide open, open. other two eyes cloudy yeah. Cause of all night, smoking on some clone guy fire yeah. Got me higher than a UFO, breathe through your nose, hold that smoke, relax, exhale slow Down the rabbit hole we go, never searching for the tricks Fresh come out that night from what they say and they legit Experience, seize the moment, opportunist I make love to the pressure, but I go all in and cease to exist Don't get me pissed, your whole style gets drowned in the abyss Can't ride my wave, I leave you in a brush, do rack list Swim with the fishes, can't find your body, no reminiscing Now you're wishing, you never fuck with the birth of never ending Lesson learned, I'm on your head, lace front perm Pass through your skin, now you addicted, nigga derm Never ever cross the line, you will get burned Just sit back, take notes and wait your turn I'm a little bit different Lights out, I be all in my feels, melting in the mic couch in another time zone in somebody else's house in the twilight zone. And the tambourine man tells me about his whole plan. Clouds turning into sand, oceans turning into land. There's a gun in my hand and a penny in my pocket, and I don't even know if I'ma make it to the rocket. Cause they just counted down in the at three now. So I'm running through the clouds with my luggage and my Bible and a smile on my face. Cause I'm in another place where the turtle wins the race. And he throws it in your face. I don't give two fucks about it. Yeah, you know I'm about it. About it. Shit, subscribe to the newspaper, read all about it. Shit, read the whole book, cause the cover's kinda plain. I'm a little mad. Stuff if you know what I'm, I'm saying. I'm a little bit different. I don't know why I do what I do. I just don't want to be like you. I just don't want to be like you. I'm a little bit different. Cause the sky ain't always blue. And the moon ain't always new. And the sun ain't always cool. I'm a little bit different. Beginning to colonize. My friends will be arriving very shortly. I think they're going to like it here. It's a lovely area. So... So remote, so pleasant, so off the beaten track. Just the perfect spot for a colony, don't you think, Mr. Haley? Is Bobby Schmurter separated from everybody right now? You know what I'm saying? Do you know how, how that, something like By that By choice, he would have to stay, he would have to... Uh, uh, when he first got locked up, they're going to do it. Okay. Mandate, court ordered, separate him. But as time goes on, 
he's done. He doesn't have to stay like that if he doesn't want to. He can sign out. It's his 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 op- He has the. It's his choice ultimately. Okay. You know, ultimately it's his choice. Gotcha, gotcha. Now something uh, I also heard on your channel. You got into it with the CO, and you were placed in the box. Can you explain what led up to that and what your experience was like when you were in the box? Oh, I've been in a box, man, so many times. Mm. <laughs> it's like you're being locked in your bathroom. Damn, dog. Oof, that's a horrible way to fucking think of it. That's exactly what it is. You're, in your, you're, you're locked in a bathroom with a cot, 10 reading books, a writing pad, and five envelopes, and 50 stamps a month. You got to make last. Mm. That's it. No, nothing else. Damn. And then you get headphones that you can listen to one, one or two stations on the radio that you can't control. <laughs> like, that's it. You know, yeah. but that's when you become the most creative when you have the less distract, least distractions. Yeah, that sober and all that shit too, usually. Yeah. Damn. Now let me ask you: Do you think it's you know when you're doing a long stint like that, or even just a couple of years or whatever, you know, do you think it's easier to have a girl on the outside or harder to have a girl on the outside because you're just constantly thinking about who she's fucking? Honestly, bro, it depends on the girl on the outside, bro. <laughs> she can either be your best thing that ever happened to you during your time and stint, or the shit that made you go crazy. Mm. You feel me? Like me, I was happy to be blessed with a ride or die. Like she held me down, OD. Mm. You feel me? She. I'm talking about in, uh, what's that? In uh, literally, in uh, out of eight years, six months, twenty six days, bro. I only missed twelve visits. Wow. You know how many weekends there are in a year? Yeah. Damn. Only missed 12 visits in total, so. Mm. Right. And now uh, niggas be capping. I, I'm about to do, like, like, when I get off this interview, I was actually going to be posting my photo album tonight on my channel. Okay. I was going to be posting some video, video so some, just a lot of pictures of when I was bidding, man, coming up. Because I was like, I went from being a first-timer to you would have thought <laughs> it was the LeBron James of this shit. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> Cause like you know we all see the prison movies. Everybody has the illusions and how they paint themselves, but pictures paint reality. They freeze time and show you what was happening then, at that moment, and you can usually see for yourself, you know. And you, you, you probably remember yourself. by looking at each picture how you were feeling at that time, what was going but on. But I can tell you the jail, everybody like yeah. I, that's pictures that bring you back, yeah. man. It, it brings you back. Yeah, man. Yeah. Damn, dog. Uh, shit. Let me ask you few more questions i want to jump you know into hip-hop a little bit talk a couple of stories that were big this year pop smoke up and coming new york rapper some would say he was going to be the next big thing the next 50 cent or whatnot comes out to la gets killed in a high class neighborhood because his album gets leaked or his uh, address gets leaked on the internet or so, so to say but my question for you is you know being in music and also being a person with gang ties. What are your thoughts on how rappers should move when they're going from state to state, city to city, performing? You gotta move like you're still in the trenches. Who the fuck you think you at? Cause you got money, that makes you more more of a, more of a, a, a victim. You gotta move even more tighter than ever. Mm-hmm. Niggas wanna see how to move, let me get lit. I'ma show niggas. <laughs> I'ma show niggas how you're supposed to move. <laughs> Literally. Yeah, so. It's just like certain things you can't do. You gotta start moving like you're the president now. Like you, your team got to treat you like the money. You mm-hmm. got to protect the money by all costs. Yeah. Yeah. Now, um, do you? How much uh, extortion do you think goes on when it comes to how rappers? much what extortion do you think comes on with, when it comes to rappers and and, and gangs? You know, like because they can't move how they want to move, but you know they may you know hire some people or. Now check it though. Now that happens, right? But now that only happens. Oh, you say it's like how I put you on speaker. Yeah. That only that only happens with um dudes who already got their name up, already got their clout up. Like they already doing it. And now if everybody else is going in tune with it, who you think you are to say no? Hmm. This is what's going on here. You ain't heard, and if you didn't hear, you're gonna hear, or you're not gonna perform. Hmm. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah. Like Kevin Gates sometimes. Dudes just say he he, he uh, rambles, but he said something about, or his one of his last videos, he was talking about how if a nigga calls himself a monster, he not gonna call you and talk about monster shit. Monsters just do what monsters do. You heard, bro? Mm-hmm. So like, 
naturally, you got certain people like, if I'm an extortionist, you're going to pay me or you're not going to work. That's it. There's not nothing else to talk about. There's no negotiation. You feel me? That's, that's your career path. That's what you're doing. You're a monster. That's the, yeah. But yeah. now, how often it happens, I think it's a lot of friendly, more friendly extortion than real extortion going on. I think dudes that get money be so scared of the potential dangers, they, they start paying dudes around them that they believe with before they made it you start trying to use the niggas for their own agenda and it, that's when it usually turns against them like that's what happened with 6 9 he tried to use the bloods for his agenda and it worked until it turned against him he got too big for his bridges and he was never really gang you know what i'm saying he was never really even gang why would you do that It's just you and me. School is in session, baby, but I don't play. I know you wanted to go to recess, but I take that away. Understand I'm the man, even if you had a plan. If you make 200,000, I'm keeping 100 grand. Wait a minute. Because I'm pimping you, bitch. This is America, so why not get rich? When you're searching for your music, you're playing my station. I'm two steps beyond, maybe that's the fascination. One plus one equals two. I'm talking you and me. You talking me and you. When we come together, we be feeling out. Absolute. We put one in the air and be feeling so cool. Ooh, ooh. I'm a West Coast rapper from the city of the hub. Everywhere I go, I get that California love. Like I'm the plug, they trying to tap into my energy. When I hit the spot, you know I'm coming with that synergy, replenishing like Gatorade. Got they levels up, and now we two steps beyond these flames, kicking up dust, never running from the smoke. We really want the smoke only from Clone God, though. Let's go. One plus one equals two. I'm talking. You talking you and me, you talking me and you When we come together we be feeling absolute We put one in the air and be feeling so cool my inner sugar fruit. I'm a Gemini, bitch, so you know what that means It means that sometime one plus one equals three I'm a wandering star with two grams up in my cigar And a heart with two scars, so pardon if I snap, girl, I'm sorry Bitch, pass me the lighter, I'm about to play street fire Hot dug in that pussy, like my name Ken Ryu She says she never kissed a girl, well bitch, tonight you experiment Put this tablet on your your tongue and just enjoy the experience. One plus one equals two. I'm talking you and me. You talking me and you. When we come together, we be feeling absolute. We put one in the air and be feeling so cool. Ooh, ooh. Who's more at fault, Takashi Six Nine or the gang for letting them? Letting him get that close. You know, I'm an essence nigga. I'm from the essence. I blame the gang, you know? I blame the nigga that sold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring him around. We'll do it. Come on. I blame that nigga, you know? There See, this, this is, there's, a certain, there's a certain difference between a real gangster that gets the opportunity to change his life and then a nigga that wanted to be a gangster forever has an opportunity to act like a gangster now because he got money. There's a difference, man. Like, I, I get that opportunity, this certain shit I would never do again. But I look like fighting again. But, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Stop breaking the sweat unless I'm fucking. Real talk. Uh, Let me ask you about FBG Duck, popular drill rapper from Chicago who was killed, you know, a month or so back. And Chicago has this thing, and from what I'm learning as the days go on, like, this is a big thing in rap period now where you actually diss... The dead homies on song, you know what I'm saying? The dead ops or whatever. Yeah. What are your thoughts on on that? That's what I'm saying. If you say it, you better mean it. Cause you this one some nigga I love, we gonna smoke you too. You gotta understand the culture if you playing. You can't be mad when niggas tap you, nigga. You feel me? Or tap your man. It's the part of the game. You gotta get to work. Just got gotta get to work. You know what you're doing out here. And if if that ain't what you're doing out here, then what you doing out here? Take your ass in the house. What what's your what is in your opinion what is the definition of an OG? OG is a nigga that leads by example, mentally, physically, financially, spiritually, economically, socially, you name it, bro. I'm talking about he's a person that you feel confide in, 
could follow, could be protected by, feel like you want to protect, he has to give you that, 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 that education or that, that loyalty that makes you feel that. Thing. If he can't educate you or teach you to that level, that type of loyalty for him. It's not going to happen. What he teach you, what he do for you, for you to be violent, rolling with him to the moon and back on a life sentence. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I usually interview people over 40 on my show. I kind of have a rule that I rarely interview people under 40, but I really wanted to fuck with you, you know what I'm saying, because I'm digging your channel, and I really see that shit blowing up um, as a side note. So keep doing that shit. Um, yeah, thank you, bro. I appreciate but, you. Yeah, but my question to you is, you know, since you are you know a little bit younger than the average person I have on my show, do you think that is missing nowadays amongst younger gangsters? Like, Because what I'm hearing from the older guys is, it's just the wild, wild west now with the younger guys. These OGs are not talking to them, or if they are, they're steering them in the wrong direction. I'm gonna tell you what it is from being a young G, being steered by wrong OGs, being lied to, being you know what I'm saying I've been in that seat. And um, what it is is when someone lies to you, right? You believe them until you catch them the first time. The first time you catch them, you kind of don't believe them. Second time you catch them. Now you know you can't believe him. Mm -hmm. Once you catch his ass the third time, you know he's a liar. You feel me? So now it's like anything else, anything somebody says after that, you get a side eye. Even when you tell the truth now, it's in question because I know you lie consistently. So now when you have an individual that tells you he's this type of person, he's that type of person, he lives this type of way, he lives that type of way. But then on his day-to-day -day living skills, his day-to-day -day actions don't coexist with that. It don't show that. He doesn't reflect that image ever. Now, you're questioning yourself like, damn, why the fuck I'm even listening to this nigga? I'm doing better than this nigga. You feel me? He always asking me for money. He always asking me. Like, how the fuck my big homie always asking me to set him out? Ain't you supposed to be putting me on a mission to go get some money for us? Ain't that the big homie? Ain't you supposed to have the ideas, nigga? Ain't you supposed to got, I'm saying, that's what you supposed to be doing. Yeah, that's deep as fuck, man. So now, but you see, you don't know that. You don't even realize that or pay attention to that until you've been around that. Once you've been around that, you know what's expected. So now when it's not there, you know the difference. Like, oh, 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 what's this? What the fuck is this? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What's this fake shit he trying to pretend to be? Mm. Nigga, that ain't real, right? Mm. That ain't how that's supposed to go. I've seen it done before. That ain't how it go. Mm. Yeah, I hear that term a lot, real right. What, what does that mean? Standing upright, man. That just means that you live in how you talking. You mean what you say. And you, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Moles, principles, respect. Sure. Well, shit, you dabble in music, right? Yeah, definitely. What's uh, what's next for the music? What you got going on with that? I just dropped the track two days ago. I just dropped the single two days ago Um, titled Social Media. That's my newest track out right now. Um, I is just did under, a little is, track. is it under Oso Bosley on YouTube or? No, on YouTube, it's on my music page. It's on J Bosley, J A Y mm -hmm. Bosley, B O S S L Y. Perfect. We're pulling up right now. We're going to commercial break with that one. Yeah, we're pulling yeah, up right good. now. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm a hip hop was my first love, man. I f fuck with hip hop since since day one. Um, now I'm just going for that new drill sound on that track. Okay. Yeah, drill is big, uh, big right now in New York. New York. Right now, New York is running shit when it comes to music, just like they were back in the day. People like Griselda and and just man, Griselda. I'm off, off top. They're just killing. Yo, a lot of people don't realize though. Um, drill did not. I repeat, drill did not start in New York. That's a Chicago, Chicago thing. Yeah, big. Oh, every, yeah, yeah. That's not off shit. top. But I jack it. They, and I you know what? Like you motherfuckers, some would say you guys are doing it better than they were. <laughs> some would say that. But yeah, man, that's dope, dude. We definitely have to uh, support you on my show, man. Once again, where can everybody find you and, and pump up your YouTube channel? Hey, yo, man, yo, tune in. Call me Bossley. C-A-L-L-M-E underscore. Oh, shit. See, my bad. <laughs> Bossley. C A. L L M E underscore Bossley, man. Call me Bossley. 
Yeah. Keep doing you your thing. Tell your boss, you know, I'll pop up. Keep doing your thing, man. I, I I know your numbers are gonna rise. Just keep at it. Stay consistent. And just keep. Stay Yo, bro, I just had nine thousand. I deleted it when I was trying to brand my channel. I had uh, nine thousand subs, man. Ouch. So, yeah, I bet you'll be up that. Up you'll be up that before you know it, man. You'll be up there before you know it, dog. Yeah, hell yeah, man. I appreciate you yeah. for giving me the opportunity, man. I'm about to definitely share this on my channel right now. Sounds good, so man. Got... All right, homeboy. Take care. I'll talk to you soon. All right. All right. Cool. Peace, man. Oh, a colony is coming, but it's from Venus. And if you're still alive, I think you'll see how we differ. And I agree with you about what they call music. Why don't you play some? I'm at a crossroads every damn day, looking back in my past when I sleep. But living on the edge, not doing enough. Iniquity down to my feet. What do I do when I need a little food and I gotta get the money for the rent? Fall to my knees, pray to the Lord, come my son, he can give me some money, repent. What? What? Thank you. I really love you, baby, so I spank you. Life is a west straight, fucking you up. Living in a prison, I'ma shank you. So what's love got to do with it? When it with my heart, I'ma sleeve, I'ma fold. But she said she loved me, she want to hug me, and she she's nervous, get told. And I spy with my little mind's eye, dreams that'll be beyond what you can see in daylight, baby. Everything gon' be okay And while the world burns I'll be near the skyline And I'll be biding my time Till I can ride the wave Then everything gon' be okay Yeah What are the chances? You're picking a flight, we're leaving tonight Pack up your bags, we're leaving this place and this baggage Cause what can we do? While Rome is collapsing But not in a day We'll be okay Let's hit the Amalfia Jackson I'll pull up the map then Cause I'm through Keeping up with these Joneses Don't care what they're posting You know You only see what they show you Let's fall off the grid then Cause we don't Owe nothing to no one Darling just listen It'll be Just like starting over and I spy with my little mind's eye Dreams that'll be on What you can see in daylight Baby ignore the rain Everything gon' be okay And while the world burns I'll be near the skyline And I'll be biding my time Till I can ride the wave Then everything gon' be okay I don't even know why I'm here Wanna be on a beach somewhere Be kicked up in my chair Smoke all up in the air Clouds are looking lovely my girl is by my side, my gun is by my side But why do cameras always make me look so ugly? And the smile fades when they disappear Till it's only you wishing someone cared Yelling out the window, was anybody there? Does anybody care? Was the rope in the fucking chair? And since God wanna play these fucking games I'ma take it there Bang, bang And I spy with my little mind's eye Dreams that'll be on what you can see in daylight Baby, ignore the rain gonna be okay and while the world burns i'll be near the skyline and i'll be biding my time till i can ride the wave then everything gonna be okay let me slide on in like I hit a home run Bottle of the night, I get the job done Celebrating life, I buy bottles like I wanna Pour some out for the homies, I'm on ya Reminisce, swing your memory Every time I blaze a tree, voices in my head Keep on urging me, tell them about the story Hate the game from the hood All about the paper, many years misunderstood Thinking I could one day make it on the big stage Amazed at what I say, metaphorical wordplay Fucking up your frequency Catching you moving and grooving to a kind of time of state Nah, I'm gonna stay high, chilling, embracing the vibe Taking you on a ride and listening to the night As long as you recognize the eyes in the sky I spy with my little mind's eye Dreams that'll be on what you can see in daylight Baby, ignore the rain And everything gon' be okay And while the world burns I'll be near the skyline And I'll be biding my time Till I can ride the wave Then everything gon' be okay